So for today, we're going to be looking at what is up for the week. So Ada and Eververse, unfortunately, challenges are over after week 10. And I do believe we are in week 13. So that's why we're not going to be going over challenges. But again, if you guys want me to go through the challenges and let you guys know which ones are the easiest, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely do that. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because I do post a lot of content specifically fashion related. So I do think it's actually worth it to subscribe to me. So let me know what you guys think. Other than that, before we actually look at Everest let, or A to 1, let's actually look at my fit. So that way, if any of you are interested to remake this, you guys can check it out because I've gotten a lot of people asking what the fit is. So before we start with the video i'll show you what a fit if if i have a fit i'll show you the fit right here so um a lot of cool things contender gloves elective empty robes forbidden visage vernal growth and then for the shaders royal die smashing success royal treatment shadow guilt and ultra plasmic this is the one that i have different everything so just to let you know so 801 let's actually look at what she's offering genotype null zero so this is I would I would recommend the shader only because it's from Warmind. It's an old shader. It's really cool. I loved I like the platinum orange, and this is a really good color to combine with another shader. Hold on, let me let me go look at it real quick. Um, where is it? Erebus Glance. It's a really good shader to combine with this one, this one, and. Um, the Omnicronia as well. So I definitely would like mix around with those three shaders. We have another one from Warmind, the Mad Monk. This one's really good if you want to uh, color like your cloth armor, certain colors, specifically black. That's why I really like it because I use it a lot on my Hunter. Uh, Dead Orbit's Fate, another black one, funny. And I would recommend this one just because it is a pretty good black and white, but be aware that it is a black and white one. So. If you're looking for an all black one, you're looking for Erebus Glance. Erebus Glance? Erebus something, I don't remember. As for the armor sets, they're all right here. So for this one, we're going to be looking at the Hunters, then Titans, and then Warlocks. Hunters, I really like um, a lot of the pieces, actually. I don't like the chest piece and the cloak. I do like it, but it shaders really terribly, so just be aware of that. Titans, I like the helmet. I think the arms are pretty cool. I think the chest piece is pretty cool. I think the boots and the mark is the only piece where I'm like, whatever. So actually, to be fair, the arms are also pretty whatever. Uh, Warlocks, I think the helmet's interesting. I think the bond, the chest piece are the best pieces. And I think the arms and the boots can be utilized, but they are kind of in the boring side. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from 8 to 1. From Eververse, there's a few things that Eververse is selling that I definitely think you should pick up. So Gamekeeper is the first one. I definitely recommend Gamekeeper. It's such a good shader. Um, has none of the colors that are being showcased right here, but you know, that's whatever's. It's a cool blue and brown, which I really like. We have Empirical Imperative. I love this shader, especially if you're going for a warm mind look because this is the shader you're gonna wanna go for. Just be aware that you wanna stay away from cloth or um, this color of cloth, which I think that's the main color if I remember correctly. Uh, just because the this like off white and the yellow, I think just look terrible with it. So if you do this with a Titan, it'll look really cool. We have Phosphine Stimulus. We have Directive Crash. I kind of want to get this. I kind of want to get this. We'll see. But it is cool. And then another, which is the T one. So or coffee, I think. So for the ornaments, it's going to be Beast Whisper for Claws of Ahamkara, which looks amazing, like legit. Really, really like this one. And then let's go for the other classes so you guys can see what's actually up. So for the Hunters, it's going to be for the Assassin's Cowl, which I've been waiting for this one patiently. Really love this ornament. It's so cool. <laughs> Titans, it's also another helmet for you. It's Lorelei Splendor, specifically the Adamantine Rebirth. So definitely go pick those up if you're interested. Uh, this one does take shaders really terribly. Uh, more specifically, the glows don't change color. And then if I remember correctly, one of the... Actually, I can just show you. One of these takes the off colors, which is very unfortunate. Um, this one. So yeah, the green right here and then the off color right here as well. So it's like off color and then off off color, which is very unfortunate. 
so definitely pick those up at least pick the ones that you rep your class a lot i pick them all up because i'm just like that lightweight custom <clears throat> i don't think this looks bad i think this looks pretty cool um steel sky this is the dragon one yeah it's the dragon one egregore shell egregore does the like does the stuff change color that's what i want to know wow it does change color that one looked really weird ew ew um it kind of looks like parasite eve almost if you guys know that if you guys know that game you guys are old hot gossip don't care mystical reading and then for the other stuff at the bottom box of tricks Only the fighters. Sorry, I was yawning. Celebrate newness. And then for the shaders, Tyrion Abyss. Which, where's the purple in this? Legit, where's the purple? Uh, Trinity. Jack Arena? Oh, I definitely would recommend Jack Arena, guys. It's so good. The only problematic part is it looks better with plate armor. Um, not saying it doesn't look good with cloth armor because this black looks right good right there this one as well It's just the fact that like there is like a pl not plated but like a Like almost like a gray, but it's like dotted. It's weird It's a, like a really gross color to me not gross But annoying and then like a really bad blue and white in my opinion So this shader can be utilized really well if you like follow the rules that it has and then welded brass which is a pretty good shader. Has a really good purple. Why am I dying so much? <sighs> so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is the end of the video. So if you guys want, you guys can leave. Uh, I'm just gonna be talking about some things that some of my subscribers may be interested in because I'm currently working on a few things. I am playing the game again, like mostly just to do bounties because I need a uh, bright dust. I am also working on some of the challenges because these are, they're annoying. But we have a few things to talk about. I am currently working on the Mass Effect videos, specifically the class specific videos. So the Hunter one already went up and the Titan and Warlock one are already uploaded. I just have to post them or not post them, but make a schedule for them. And then after that, I actually have the tier list videos. Uh, I'm currently editing them right now. So I am redoing the tier list that I made for the raid armors, the season pass armors, and then the uh, dungeon armors. And I'm also, or I already did the iron banner armors as well. And th these are going to be a little bit different. They're going to be longer because I'm actually reviewing them or tiering them into class specific. So that way, the my main like regret about the tier list videos was the fact that I felt like a lot of the placements were not fair to some classes because for example like maybe the hunter set was terrible but the warlocks and titan sets were really good at that point i would have to add, like rate them in the middle because i'm a hunter main and that outweighs or that evens out for the titans and warlocks so this time i made it class specific so each class will get their own tier list in the same video and it's uh, it's pretty fat i think the longest one might be like 25 to 30 minutes long so it is kind of chunky but i will have timestamps so that way you guys can just go to either the titans warlocks or hunters or you can guys go to the end if you want just to see my tier list because uh, i would suggest watching the video so that way you guys can like un like understand my thought process because i do explain why i put them in certain tiers and after that we have one more exotic video no two more because someone asked for an exotic that i've been done i'm probably gonna redo lorelei splendor because that one has got a new ornaments or just wait but we still have a lot of content to go through because this is just fashion related i haven't gone through the commentary videos that i want to make specifically like just like talking about the state of the game what i think about like certain things or like the fact that i still want to do the playlist uh armor video where if you guys don't know joe blackburn uh, I think it was Joe Blackburn was talking. No, it was the Bungie team, but they were talking about how the reason they weren't doing playlist armor sets was because uh, 
it had a low adoption rate even though a lot of the playlist armor is pretty trash or just reskin stuff from the world pool so uh we will talk about that um i just have to edit it and then render it because i've already done the voiceover and yeah if you guys want to see me do anything other than what i've been doing like you guys want to see guys or anything like that let me know in the comments below i mean i wouldn't call myself like fucking super good at this game i mean to be fair like i solo flawless pretty much anything that i can solo flawless most of the time and i have done gm solo flawless but i don't know it's, e it's either me trying to be humble or i'm actually trash and i just get lucky but either way let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later